Hello, Wikileaks presentation by Megan Griffiths, Chelsea Rogers, Zoe Ray, Megan Dugio, Rosie Alcott. As a group, we have decided the aim to show the interest in what we want to find out from looking into terrorism and what side of Wikileaks it links to. We have assessed the reasons why, as a group, you can be classed as freedom fighters or as a terrorist. Firstly, we have researched the meanings of what terrorism is and how it can be explained in many different ways. The legal definition in Section 1, Terrorist Act 2000, the Act, um, the Act covers actual or threatening acts of violence against people and or property designed to influence government, to intimidate the public or a section of the public, to advance a political religion or ideological status. This idea has been manipulated by the media and in many ways target, to target certain areas of people, for example, using the internet to target the WikiLeaks. Many religions are targeted and are they just self-fulfilling prophecies? Wilkinson says that there are many different definitions of terrorism which are not always explained as the enemy of the state, but enemies of the individual. The main religious target are Muslims because of the 9-11 attack. The real classification is a fundamental Islamic group, which are extremists, who, who everyone believes to be Muslims. In 2006, Julian Assange and a group of activists officially launched Wikileaks. Wikileaks believed that the government monitor what the public are allowed to read and see. The organisation felt that there are many events throughout history that have been covered up by the government and the corporate. In the Wikileaks documentary, Julian Assange can be seen saying, we reveal immoral and unjust behaviour, we set examples. The public has a right to know of diplomatic, political, <laughs> ethical and historical significance. Another quote located on the official Wikileaks website best describes the ideology that the organisation stands for, stating that they are a non-profit organisation and provide only the truth. They detain classified documents through hacking and cryptographics. In such a short amount of time, Wikileaks has released more classified documents than the rest of the world's press combined, including stories of torture, taxes and abuse. An example of a specific exposed story was the leaking of the Afghan diary in July 2010. The logs included a database created by the US Army that included six years worth of mili secret military material. The classified documents released amongst other facts include the brutality, corruption and kidnapping committed by the members of the Afghanistan police force. Julian Assange says in a YouTube video, we use unjust and immoral behaviours, we set examples. This shows that he understands the bad behaviour, however he believes that this immoral behaviour is outweighed by the method he uses to detain the documents. Furthermore, it allows the public to see hidden issues that would otherwise never be heard of and people like the government would get away with issues such as murders. Wikilink can be defined, Wikilinks can be defended in the respect that there is not, that they are not harming individuals or endangering them and so therefore is ultimately not seen as a terrorism. Due to the Terrorism Act 2000, under Section 1 and Section 58, Wikileaks can be classed as a terrorist organisation due to the way in which their data is collected. Also, some of the information leaked has caused some individuals in certain countries, such as Afghanistan, who have helped the US for their lives to be put in danger as they have been classed as traitors to their countries. These leaks have endangered members of the public, which under Section 1, Subsection 2 of the Terrorism Act 2000, is classed as an act of terrorism. By leaking government information, it can be viewed that they are actually enabling other terrorists to carry out and plan their terrorist acts by collecting and recording information that is likely to be used in the terrorist act, which under section 58 can be viewed as a terrorist act. According to the Terrorism Act 2000, terrorism means the use or threat of action which falls under subsection 2. Action that, actions that fall within this subsection are that if it involves serious violence against the person, serious damage to a property, endanger the person's life other than the person committing the action, creates a serious risk to the health or safety of the public, or is 
or a section of the public, or is designed to seriously interfere or disrupt an electronic system. Under Section 58 of the Terrorism Act 2000, a person commits an offence if they collect or record or possess information that is likely to aid a person committing or preparing a terrorist act, with a, re with a, with a record being either photographic or electronic. However, if the individual can provide a reasonable excuse as to why they possess such information, this can provide a defence. With regard to WikiLeaks, under Section 1 of the Terrorism Act, they can be committing a terrorist act due to subsection 2E, which is an action designed to seriously interfere or disrupt an electronic system such as hacking. Initially, the Treasury Department was clear that it would not declare WikiLeaks a terrorist organisation or list Julian Assange as a specially designated national on the list, as it did not meet the proper criteria. US government has now designated the website WikiLeaks and its founder as enemies of the state, the same legal category as Al-Qaeda and other foreign military adversaries. This means military personnel who contact WikiLeaks or its supporters could be at risk of being charged with communicating with the enemy, a harsh military crime that carries a maximum sentence of death. Meanwhile, Assange himself lashed out at the hypocrisy of the US government, defending freedom of speech with one breath, while at the same time seeking to bring down WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks is an incredibly controversial organisation, and it is possible to see both the advantages and the disadvantages of challenging the government and exposing the truth. The advantages include WikiLeaks feel that they should expose private documents for the proletariat, as through hegemony there is this power relationship consisting of the government, corporate and the public. They believe the government monitor what the public see and are therefore doing the world a favour by exposing the truth. By being a non-profit organisation, WikiLeaks are not interested in wealth, but only in revealing corruption. Lastly, freedom of speech is significant as they believe everyone has the political right to their own opinions and beliefs. WikiLeaks can be seen as a positive institution by changing the way audiences liberally receive information. The disadvantages include the misconduct of obtaining classified documents through hacking, and it is also suggested that certain extreme groups and enemies that are then able to obtain the information to target the US government could prove dangerous. It also creates the extreme views amongst people in society, for example, that all police and soldiers are corrupt and inhumane, when this isn't the truth. The publication WikiLeaks has given the public an insight into governmental work and at an exceptional level. It's transformed journalism in the digital age, though it has enriched people's understanding of many events. The Justice Department continues to investigate individuals alleged with the WikiLeaks situation. The Espionage Act of 1917 has re recently been used to punish government, le <coughs> government leakers. Many believe that prosecution of the media organisation would be devastating for the press freedom and the violation of First Amendment. However, it is feared that the content that is WikiLeaks that is leaked through the organisation will significantly impact the running of nations, for example, politics, voting, and um, particularly in the US. Wikileaks can be leaked for some of the major terrorist attacks, such as the Twin Towers, in which they intercepted the tragedy by using text pages from organisations such as the Pentagon, the FBI, and the New York Police Department. These messages were broadcasted live throughout the global community one of the first messages was said to have been as, was said to have been on September the 11th from 3 a.m. Consequently, this led to conspiracies such as the 9/11 being an inside job. This example of the twin towers is a good way in which we can see how WikiLeaks have given a wide range of possibilities that, if they hadn't have looked into, would never have been suspected or been released. In the view of Marxists and in terms of capitalist economics, computer technology and organisations such as WikiLeaks inhibits the significance of information and the internet makes distribution, legal or otherwise, unimportant. Information has become non-excludable. It is impossible to prevent hacking or copying of important material as demonstrated by WikiLeaks. 
Where certain documents were only available to certain members of the bourgeoisie, it is now available to all members of society and seen as a human right. Neo-realists have declared cyberspace has become a new international battlefield. With no governing body or police force, the internet and organisations such as WikiLeaks pose a direct threat to a national security. Being superior in many aspects, including military, wealth and technology, has meant the US is now the country most vulnerable to cyber attacks, as WikiLeaks has demonstrated. Feminist movements have chosen to defend WikiLeaks, suggesting that WikiLeaks threatens to arm the people with the knowledge we need to see beyond the blinkered view that the corporate media gives us and to see capitalism as it really is. To conclude, we have done some conclusions about WikiLeaks. One is to one man's terrorism is another man's freedom fighter. For example, the suffragette movement in the 1900s was just was causing a good change for the women to vote. As passive audiences, the majority of the world believed everything they are sub filtered and subjected to. With the help of WikiLeaks, society are able to reject opinions and discover the truth. Without WikiLeaks, the government would forever keep the truth from the public. Thank you for watching our presentation. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't do my conclusion. Finally.